What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're going to be taking a look at a growth update on Shane's Shogun Aranda. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. As always, check out our links in the description and make sure you have liked and are following our brand new Facebook page where we post all of our regular content, giveaways, updates, news, etc. The link is down in that description. So as I said, today we're gonna to be doing a growth update on Shane's Aranda. If you haven't seen the first video that we made, then there is a link up in one of the corners here for you to see. We're gonna be checking out how these fish have grown, developed and changed since he's had them. I believe the first video came out about four to five weeks ago, I believe, around that sort of time period, maybe six weeks ago. So it'll be interesting to see over that five, six week period, how the fish have changed and how he's grown them on. So without further ado, I'm gonna get his videos up on the screen that he has kindly produced for us and sent to me, and then we can check out these amazing Aranda. Also, we're gonna have a look at this setup, see how things have potentially changed a little bit. We will be focusing a few more videos in the near future on these fish as well. So without further ado, let's get the video on the screen and let's check them out. So first of all, just before we check the growth rate on the fish, let's have a little look at the setup, the tank in question, and just overall having a look at the aquarium and the fish within it. So as you can see, we still have the three around in the aquarium. And you'll notice from the last video, if you watched that, that this aquarium looks slightly different now. And that is all because of this lovely green hair algae carpet that we have on the base of the aquarium. Now, a lot of keepers, as uh, the green carpet algae is aspirational to them and they absolutely love the look of it. Whereas I would say in every potentially every other aspect of fish keeping, green hair algae is the bane of people's lives and they absolutely hate it, despise it and want to get rid of it. But us goldfish keepers, we absolutely love the green hair algae carpets. And I, for one, think it looks absolutely amazing. It really adds a luminous look to the tank. It really brightens the tank up. It looks really cool and it's really nice to see the movement of the water within that hair algae carpet. And the fish also help to graze on it and keep it down. So it keeps it nice and thin. I have, however, seen some tanks with really thick green hair algae carpets and they look absolutely stunning. As you can see, Shane has kept the green hair algae carpet just to the base of the tank. A few different hobbyists would like to see it on the back and even the side walls, apart from the front viewing pane obviously because we wouldn't be able to see our fish, but generally different hobbyists have different opinions and different ways in which they would like to keep their green hair algae carpet. So you can see that this green hair algae carpet is just kept to the base of the aquarium. There's also a little bit on the filter inlet pipe, which helps to disguise it a little bit. And I'm sure as the months go by, this is just gonna get more and more intense and more and more luscious which is awesome because a lot of people really struggle to even start the green hair algae carpets. As bonkers as it sounds, a lot of people really strive for that green hair algae carpet and they just can't get it to grow. And a lot of other tanks like tropical tanks, it just pops up like that and it's impossible to get rid of. But when you really want it to grow, it doesn't start growing. So apart from that lovely green hair algae carpet, you can see we've got an external filter on it. Now I know that this is the All Pond Solutions EFX 2000, I believe. So the really big canister, I think it has four large trays and this is full of Seeker Matrix Biohome sponges. It's providing a huge, huge filtration quality and quantity for this size of tank, especially with only these three fish in it. But as we know, Shane's goal is to grow these fish as quickly as possible and get as much growth on them as well, just to provide really good parent stock because I believe in the future, he is going to try and breed them. So that would be awesome if he can do that, but we need to keep this water crystal clear, crystal clean as well. He is doing very regular water changes on this setup. I believe he might be doing a 50% every other day. Maybe he will correct me, but I believe he was doing at least three 50% water changes a week, if not every other day of the week, to make sure the pheromones and any hormones are removed from the water. 
because you may or may not know that goldfish release pheromones and release toxins into the water which stops them and their counterparts from growing and they can get stunted to the size of the tank which many people don't believe but it is true and science does prove it when these goldfish are releasing these hormones and pheromones from their body it is sending signals to the rest of the fish that they're in a small enclosed place and they need to stop growing and it can stunt them so the only way to combat this is you can use carbon but it does need to be changed out regularly and the best way is just simple water changes big water changes You'll also notice the clarity is so clear on this tank. It is absolutely pristine, and that is all down to Shane's maintenance techniques. Large, oversized filter, lots of flow through the filter, really good mechanical filtration, and lots of water changes, means that these fish are in an absolutely great quality home, and they've got super clean water to grow as big and as quickly as possible. You'll also notice there is a few plants, I think mainly these are just for decorational purposes, but they do have a slight benefit to the nitrates and phosphates within the water, although not really noticeable, especially with the number and frequency of water changes that Shane is doing on a daily basis. Also, I would put down that green hair algae carpet to the intense light he has above the tank. You'll also see that he's giving us a few close-ups just before we do the comparison from the last video to this video to see how these amazing Aranda have grown. You can see this is the first one, the Kirin has changed quite a lot already and it's only been around, yeah, five or six weeks, something like that. These fish you'll notice have changed quite considerably in a small amount of time. Absolutely beautiful orchid tail on that Aranda. Lovely, stunning jet black coloration to it. And then the tiger at the end, super body on this one, absolutely huge and a lovely orchid tail as well to it. Really high quality Shogun fish these are. And we're gonna be getting a little closer of these fish in a bit. And we're gonna be comparing the pictures before and the pictures after to see how these have developed. And then hopefully, maybe a few months down the line, we will do another video again to see how these are getting on and sort of track their progress throughout their life. You'll also notice that this is the first Aranza that we're gonna see on the screen. So this is actually the old video that you will see when we previously did the video. So this is the fish when they first went into their home and you'll hopefully be able to notice how things have changed within the tank. You'll see we've got the Kirin, we've got the Black and we've got the Tig Aranda. So this video was taken as soon as they were introduced in the, into the tank within about 48 hours. You'll notice there is no green hair algae carpet, also there's no background on the tank and the fish are looking a little bit smaller and a little bit different. Now for the before and after pictures we're going to have the picture of them before from the last video and then we're going to have a close-up video just to see and compare how they They've changed and they've sort of morphed and grown as they've gone over the past month and a half. So this here is the first picture we took of the goldfish and here is the updated shot today. As you'll notice straight away I can clearly see there is an improvement in body structure and when growth and bearing in mind this has only been six weeks and also the main thing that has stood out to me is the black intensity has really intensified on this fish. The quality of black has really come through and often you will find that black fish do the opposite and completely molt from their black state. Once they've come from Thailand or China, they've come over and they slowly lose that black, but it looks like this must be a really good quality bloodline because the black has stayed and intensified and I cannot wait to see how this fish grows and develops because it's got a great structure to it, absolutely stunning caudal and dorsal fin and I can't wait to see how the body fills out and the body deepens as well throughout the next two to three months because I think this fish has a lot to go through. Next up you can see we have the tiger aranda, now not as big a wen as the black had, still nice fins and nice body structure but here you can see that orange has intensified so much. I'm not sure we've had too much growth on the wen or too much growth on the caudal or dorsal fin but you can see the belly of this fish is absolutely huge. This fish has been eating and eating and you'll see them eating at the end of the video to see how ravenous they are because look at the body structure on that. Typical Shogun fish, nice round body, quite deep but I assume that's going to deepen as the fish goes by and just really nice black markings. The black markings have stayed pretty strong and I thought they may slightly disappear as the fish gets older and we will have to keep track of those black markings to see how the fish change 
changes and evolves throughout the next few months. But absolutely great fish. Hope to see a little bit more wane growth come through in the next couple of months. But other than that, really liking the body size and the fins are absolutely lovely and flowing. Now, finally, we've got the Kirin, nice and small fish, the smallest of the bunch, really nice hood growth below the wen. You'll see that the hood growth definitely hasn't got any better, I would say, but the colors have really changed on this fish. Now, I would say this fish has probably changed the most. You'll see it's got a slightly rounder belly, but the coloration has really dramatically changed. And this is what I've talked about time and time again. When purchasing high quality goldfish, you need to understand they will change colors over time. And these fish are always changing, especially if you're going for a panda, a tricolor, a kirin or a calico. They are the least stable of the fish. If you want stability, go for a red and white. But you'll notice the red on the wen has changed and it's a little bit more deeper now, which is really nice. And I really hope that red can come through the wen a little bit more because it's really striking against that black background but definitely the oranges, the yellows have faded away on the belly and that black is starting to creep around. And it'll be really interesting to see how that fish molts and changes over time and whether it goes completely black or the opposite and goes completely orange. So finally, just to wrap up the rest of the video, we've got the fish having a little bit of pellet food. Now, Shane Fit feeds a mix of frozen foods, mainly a lot of bloodworm, rapashi gel foods, and lots of pellets as well. The pellets are really good to provide a completely nutritious diet for the fish. I believe he's feeding a bit of Kensa, and he's also got some fast and grow I think from Thailand and there are probably a few more pellets that I've missed out as well but you can see that these fish are really ravenous and they've got absolutely great quality as they swim throughout the water column. I really like the flowing fins of these Aranda and I definitely want to try Aranda. Believe it or not I've actually never kept Aranda <laughs> personally and I really want to try them one day and hopefully we will be able to get some lovely fish just like the quality examples on the video today. So these fish are now just eating a small portion of food. Regular and often feeding is the best for goldfish. Just like humans, if we eat small, steady, concise meals throughout the day, it is def generally better, especially if you're bodybuilding or working out, or you've got a good routine, it is better and better for your body to consume smaller portions, get more nutrients from that food, rather than digesting a huge meal at once and not getting as much nutrients from it. So I believe Shane feeds around four to six times a day those regular water changes and then the regular filter filter maintenance means that he can keep these fish in a small body of water but still be able to grow them at a fast pace now feeding small portions very often I would say is one of the keys to successes along with those water changes if you want to grow fish fast those two things are really important and finally let's come on to temperature now, generally people say goldfish are cold water fish, which we have established on the channel that they are not. They are temperate water fish and they are acclimated to a huge variety of different temperatures. Now, as these are Shogun Aranda and they have been bred for specific traits, they are not used to that colder water. They are grown in Thailand, they are bred in Thailand over different generations and they are not used to the cooler water temperatures. Now, these fish will do absolutely fine at 15 to 16 degrees. I generally wouldn't go much lower. You could probably take them to 10 or 12, but they're starting to, risks are starting to form at those temps. And if you really want to grow them, definitely you're looking at 24, 26, and potentially 28 degrees if you can really get high oxygen saturation within the water. But a really good temperature for growing your fancy goldfish is 26 degrees. That 25 to 26 degree range is best if you really wanna pack on the growth coupled with regular feedings and lots of water changes. So that is it for this video. I'll just let you have a little look at the fish just before we wrap up the video. But hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and it's really nice to see these fish just eating and growing really, really well in an absolutely amazing system. So I hope you enjoyed seeing those absolutely stunning Shogun Aranda. I'm really starting to fall for Aranda and they are slowly becoming my favorite variety. Obviously it's still got the Top View Ranchu outdoors and the Ranchu will always have my heart, but I'm starting to really like the Aranda. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments or queries, then leave a little comment down below and I will do my best to answer it for you and get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to have your tank featured on the channel just like Shane has today, if you want to be in our tank tour series or the Rate My Tank series, then you can submit or email me down below 
comment otherwise and I will get your tank or your setup featured on the channel. You can email me your setup with a nice video. If you have any questions on what you need to provide me, then I will let you know as well and we can get your fish on the channel. So hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, let me know down below. But otherwise, thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.